Today we're going to be setting up auto coloring in uh, Reaper. This is a massive uh, time saver that I just haven't got around to doing uh, yet myself. A little background on what I have uh, going here now. I have a mix bus track up the top here. And then I have a VCA faders to control each uh, instrument group. And then I have the folders with the various uh, tracks inside, drums, low end, electric guitars. And I typically use these uh, VCA faders for um, volume automation. Now, uh, to make this work, you need to have the SWS extension in installed. And we're now going to the auto color icon layout extension. And normally when we add new ones here, they default to a track type. You can also use coloring for markers and regions as well. Now let's start with the filter. And we can uh, start at the top here. Just double click and insert the name. Mix bus. And we'll set the color here to... I like a bright uh, red for that one. Hit apply and we'll see that one uh, turn red. We can now add another one. Let's see uh, drums. I like to use a green for that. Apply and we'll see that one turn green. And now let's look at our uh, VCAs. Just right click here, VCA Master. I'll typically use a dark blue one there. Apply. We will have to move this up in priority. There, now they're all uh, blue. And one more thing we're going to do is make sure that every track that's within the folder will inherit the color of that folder. We'll have to use the children filter and in the color right click and set to parent. And hit apply. We'll now see that all the white child tracks have the same color as the parent. Now I'll do one more and set every um, receive track to the same color as um, our effects. We can also set a specific color when we're recording, which can be uh, very useful. And also you can set icons here for every track. I know uh, some people like that, as it helps uh, visually when you do mixing in large uh, sessions. Anyways, hope that was helpful. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.